When we first got chickens, we just wanted quality eggs that didn't cost a fortune. We started with 11 hens and a rooster thinking we would probably lose a couple because we had never kept chickens before and we didn't really know what we were doing. But none of them died and now we have more eggs than we can eat. In peak season, we get nearly a dozen eggs a day. So I made a deal with my kids. If they did all of the chores for the chickens, they could have the extra eggs to sell. I'd pay for the feed, but they had to do the work. Hashtag lazy dad. They had dollar signs in their eyes and immediately took to the challenge. They now collect eggs every day, clean the coop, check the water and feed regularly, and take the table scraps out every day. I made the coop pretty much maintenance free, so their work is pretty reasonable for a 10, 9, and 6 year old. They have learned how to cooperate in sharing the workload. They are learning responsibility, work ethic, and team building, all without me having to lecture them. They started selling a dozen eggs a week to my brother, who happily paid them $5 a dozen. This was more than he normally paid for eggs, but he was happy to pay it since we feed them organic feed and let them free range on about an eighth of an acre. When grocery store prices rose, he started paying them $7 a dozen. When the kids got their first $5 bill, they asked if I would take them to the grocery store to buy candy. I said we could do that, but why don't we save the money and use it to grow the business? Fortunately, the nine-year-old is a really good saver and convinced the other two that this was a good idea. Plus, the idea of getting more chicks was way more exciting than candy. Country kids are the best. This spring, they are going to use their money to buy more chicks. The coop is designed to hold a dozen more birds, so expansion is going to be easy. Once their chickens start laying, I will have them start paying for the extra feed. This will teach them lessons about revenue versus profit, managing resources, cutting costs, and managing inventory. They will also need to expand their customer base beyond the family, so we will get to teach them sales and marketing. If you want to see how the business grows and what lessons the kids learn along the way, consider subscribing and following along.